So in this video, I'm going to show you how to test the graphical user interfaces that we've created in the previous modules. Um, as you recollect, we customized our uh, GUIs using the uh, custom code crafter Xenon template package. Um, multiple template packages available. That's the one I've chosen to use for this particular project. So all credit goes to those guys. Um, strong advocate of test as you go. So um, once I've uh, created my GUIs, it's a great time to test them. In order to do that, um, all I need to do is right click on the GUI group and generate the group as HTML. That will create the entire project, it will render it in HTML files that I'm then able to utilize and test to make sure that I haven't forgotten any navigations or in any functions that need to be uh, uh, programmed into the system. So all I've got to do is press that button um, and it'll ask me uh, where do you want me to put all the HTML files um, so I'm going to dump them on my desktop for the time being. That will create a folder and it will put all of those HTML files in that folder. In the top right hand corner of the screen you can see that it's busy uh, generating all of those files for me. And it's now asking me, uh, well, it's telling me it's now been generated and would I like to view the files. So I'm going to hit yes and that should create a, well, show me a folder full of HTML files. I've got an HTML file for every single GUI page uh, in the project. Now I, I'm started, my home page is my welcome page, welcome portrait, so if I double click on that then that will bring up in Internet Explorer uh, my uh, project. It may well ask you, depending on your security settings in your browser, you might have to allow blocked content and all that kind of stuff, depending on what your security settings are set up for. So here you can see I've got my home page that we customized earlier. And if I click on satellite, then that jumps me to my sky page, which um, gives me all my sky controls. And I'm now looking at Sky on my uh, TV here in the uh, training room. And I can press uh, TV Guide. And I can navigate up and down and around to, sh to see that it's all working and test it all out. And if I click on Apple TV, then uh, oh, there's a mistake. I forgot to rename that screen. So that's something I might want to pick up before deploying that with my customer and I'm now looking at the Apple TV and I can use the menu button and navigate around the screen and everything seems to be working fine there and obviously I could test out these functions as well uh, do test thoroughly because obviously you know I've uh, I've got these navigation buttons on every single page so I need to make sure that every single one works um, don't forget your volumes and mutes and all that kind of stuff so that really does give you a very quick way um, to test your GUIs, you know, anything, any mistakes you've made, um, you can very quickly go back and uh, correct them at this stage, it's very quick to do, um, and then you just re-click, right-click, and then generate as HTML. So it's a great way of testing your project before deploying it. That's what I'm going to cover on this video. Thank you.